Rama Yebada, Eshata, Ratomalia, Rakatata, Ishadaba, Rakotiana, Lapete, Ashabana, Akotolaya, Ranabeza, Rakotola, Arabalaza, Eshabenea. There is a shift about to happen in another three minutes. There is a shift about to happen in another three minutes. For the next three minutes, you are going to blast in other tongues in the next hour. For the next three minutes, you will open your mouth and release oracles of fire, oracles of fire, oracles of fire. Oracles of fire. If you cannot speak in tongues, Oliver, just be thundering. Jesus, fire! Jesus, fire! Jesus, fire! If you are ready, on the count of three, Obeyasa, you will open your mouth and thunder in tongues. The Lord said, three minutes of a shift, a shift, a shift, a shift is coming, a shift is coming. Oliver, Agatha, Oliver. If you are ready, one, two, three, open your mouth, blast it on, Arada, Amiada, Asaka, Arata, Lagada, Rata, Rake, Labiana, Asada, Arata, Arabara, somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray, Alakata, Ayada, Alabia, Arasa, Ratabe, Labiana. Ashade, Akata, Ratana, Ayada, Alebe, Ashabe, Akata, Arada. Are you praying? Are you praying? Blessing tongues, Amiada, where your labor cannot get to. Ayada, Ashabe, let there be a shift, let there be a shift. Rakato, Rabe, Lita, Rasaba, Radebe, Hilaba, Akota, Rabe, Isabara, Atora, Hilaba. Are you praying? Let there be a sister. Take over, take over, take 
Take over, take over, take over, take over. Reina, 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 Reina. Let your image thunder. Let your image thunder. Your words cannot be ordinary. Your presence cannot be ordinary. Let this woman try take over. Let this woman try take over. Your children cannot be ordinary. Let this woman try take over. Your career cannot be ordinary. Let this woman try take over. Your family cannot be ordinary. Let this woman try take over. Rhina, 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 Rhina. Let your image turn louder. Let your amen rise higher. Let your amen rise higher. Let your amen rise higher. I don't know who you are. As your amen will turn down. So say to the Lord, today I have removed the limitation. Let your amen turn down like a warrior. Let your amen rise. Today the limitation has been removed. It has been broken. It has been broken. It has been broken. It has been broken. Right now. 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 Let your amen turn down. 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 Somebody's here today. Today. I call for order. My destiny. You are going to be your own prophet. I want you to turn that today. Say, Jerry. Hear the word of the Lord. Emerge. 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 Say, Jerry. Emerge. 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 Open your mouth. Call it forth. Call it forth. Ayaba. Call for your gifted. Call for your marriage. Call for your favor. Ayaka. Emerge. 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 Ayaka. Alaka. Emeata. Ata. Alebe. Akata. Arasa. Akobara. Ashaba. Emerge. 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 Ayada. Ikata. Ataba. Alata. Arabani. Akata. Abed. Asabe. Ataya. Akata. Alibea. Arasa. Ashabara. Akaka. Arasa. Ilabea. Akota. Arabesa. Alada. Asaka. Rabeta. Arabara. Alabara. Akota. Arabaya. Arasa. Let your image and louder. Let your image turn down. I am called for your destiny. On I announce, emerge by fire. Emerge into your glorious destiny. Emerge into your laughter. Emerge into visibility. Emerge into exploit. Emerge into result. Emerge into your evidence. Emerge into answers. I say emerge. 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 Image, let your image under. I am see image and cross the line. Image, let the world collapse. Let it collapse. Let it collapse. The supernatural is taking over. 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 Let your image under. Let your image under. Let somebody turn the fire. Turn the fire. Turn the fire. I hear the Lord say, Oh, very. It's been rolled out. It's been rolled out. It's been rolled out. It's been rolled out. The Lord is removing every fibroid. Every fibroid. Every fibroid. Disappear right now. Disappear right now. Disappear right now. That green distance coming from your eyes. I command. Let it disappear. Let it disappear. Let it disappear. Let it disappear. Somebody to understand the supernatural has taken over. The supernatural has taken over. The supernatural has taken over. Let your image turn. Let your image turn. Somebody said today, powers contending, powers fighting against the supernatural in my life. You are a liar. You are a liar. You are a liar. We are river. You are fire. 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 
because of Jezebel, great men went into hiding. Are you aware? Because of Jezebel, foreign gods we are raised. Are you aware? Because of Jezebel, men ran out of the city and went into hiding. Are you aware? Because of Jezebel, there was bloodshed. Are you aware? Because of Jezebel, a man began to behave like a small boy. Somebody turn that Jezebel fire. The spirit of Jezebel is the spirit of deception. In the book of Revelation, she called herself a prophetess. Akata Rataya. Somebody turn that Jezebel. Turn the fire. 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 Say today, every spirit of Jezebel around my life. Fire. 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 Open your mouth. Oh, Rasha. Oh, Labira. I got you. Rasha. Rabia. Oh, Shane. Oh, Lata. Rabia. Oh, Kato. Rabia. Oh, Shata. Rasha. I got you. Rasha. Itata. Oh, Lata. Oh, Rabini. Shaba. Oh, Lata. Rabia. Sabi. Itata. Oh, Tata. Oh, Laba. Arasha. Ratata. Alibia. Arasha. Rakata. Oh, Laba. Arabara. Lad your image on the Lauda. Lad your image on the Lad your image on the As your two hands are lifted. We announce. Lad your atmosphere become the supernatural. When you talk, let the supernatural begin to go to work. Let the supernatural begin to go to work. Let the supernatural begin to go to work. I announce you are not ordinary. You are a spirit. You are a spirit. You have the spirit of God living in the inside of you. You dominate in the midst of your enemies. You are supernatural. You manifest the fullness of the Godhead. You are supernatural. Your life uh, cannot be normal. Uh, you are supernatural. Uh, out of your belly uh, flows uh, rivers uh, of living waters. Uh, you are supernatural. Possibilities uh, everywhere. You are supernatural. You manifest uh, miracles. Uh, you are supernatural. Nothing uh, stops you. Uh, you are supernatural. Everything uh, is aligning. Uh, you are supernatural. Nothing uh, dies around you nothing uh, dies in you nothing uh, dies in your family you are supernatural your head uh, is loaded uh, with oil uh, your garment uh, is white uh, your feet uh, are ordered uh, receive it 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 uh, let your image turn the louder Somebody turned and said there has been a shift. Turned and a shift has occurred. As your two hands are lifted. And as your amen will turn. Before 11 p.m. Nigerian time today. Receive an evidence of the shift. The louder your amen, the quicker your answer. Receive the evidence of the shift. Receive it right now. 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 Why are they pursuing you up and down? Why are they monitoring you? Why are they looking for you? Why do they want to stop you by all means? Why are they calling your name? Are they shrine? Why? 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 Any man or woman mentioning your name for evil. Akata, we give them the next five minutes to change their mind. If they don't, let the Lord strike the wonder. You will not fight the same battle again. You will not fight it again. You will not fight it again. You will not fight it again. Let your image turn. Let your image turn. Somebody says suddenly the Lord made it easier. Let your image turn. Say suddenly I got it earlier. 
that I imagined. Let your image under. Somebody to understand the warfare is over. Let your image rise higher. Somebody give the Lord a shout in celebration of the victory that the Lord has granted you. That shout doesn't sound victorious. Raise your voice. Give him a shout. 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 Help me look at your neighbor, say neighbor. That neighbor does he understand who you are? Look at your neighbor against a neighbor. Tell your neighbor, I am a spirit. Tell your neighbor, you better hear me clearly. Tell your neighbor, I can be here right now. Say to your neighbor, I can be in another place at the same time. Tell your neighbor, I'm a spirit. Tell your neighbor, the walls of men do not stop me. Tell your neighbor, I'm a spirit. Say, the words of men do not stop me. Say to your neighbor, I'm a spirit. Say, I now carry the spirit of the Lord in my spirit. Say to your neighbor, neighbor, you better know me very well. Say what I carry can turn around a whole nation. Did I speak about you right now? Can your amen shock the enemy? Let your amen rise higher. Somebody turn and say, I am supernatural. Say, what I need has been provided. Say, I am supernatural. Whatever I lay my hands on, prosper. Say, I am not stranded. I cannot be defeated. Say, I am not afraid. Say, the Lord is in me. He's with me. He's everywhere that I go. Say, my future is already blessed. I am supernatural. Say, all things are working for my good. Say I am supernatural. Say any man that blesses me shall be blessed. Say any man that causes me shall be cursed. Say I am supernatural. Say suddenly what I thought was missing in my life appeared from nowhere. I am supernatural. Say the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Let your amen turn the louder. Your neighbor doesn't even know why you are shouting. But if you know, you know the reason why you are celebrating the life that we have in Christ. The Ruach inside of you. The Zoe life. Raise your voice. Shout it even louder. Scream it even louder. Shout it even louder. Wherever you are, open your Bibles to the book of Ezekiel. Open your Bibles to Ezekiel chapter 37. Ezekiel 37. And we'll read from verse 1 to verse 10. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 37 from verse 1 to 10. Hallelujah. Somebody to understand, say, I am supernatural. You see, the day you will understand you are a spirit, that's the day some things will change. You still think that you are a human being with a spirit. But can I tell you, you are a spirit in a human body. They are two different things. You are not a human being that has a spirit. But you are fecundable sayada. You must be in touch with who you are first. Not in what you are wearing. I wish I can say one more time. You know the way we are, we, you are wearing a shirt. The shirt is not who you are. Because you know what? You can take off the shirt right now and you're going to wear another one. Do you understand? So, sir, let me tell you, you are a spirit wearing human body as a dress. Don't ever begin to define yourself by what you are wearing. You will never know you if you keep looking at you. You only know you when you know your spirit. This is why Apostle Paul said, Know we not any man again according to the flesh. That means if we judge them by what we see, we will judge them wrongly. If we judge them by what they've been through, we will judge them wrongly. If we judge them by their mistakes, we will judge them wrongly. But let us judge them by the strength of their spirit. 
Somebody help me thunder fire. Ezekiel 37 from verse 1 to 10. Hallelujah. I don't know who you are, Barasa, but the Lord said all throughout the month of April, I just heard the Lord say, all throughout the month of April from today, all throughout the month of May, Karabasa, the Lord said, wait on me. Wait on me, skip your breakfast. Only your breakfast. The Lord says, skip your breakfast. For the Lord says, I have remembered all your years of waiting. For the Lord says, I just I came out of Sundera. There's been a yearning in your heart. Every time you want to press into this level of yearning, it looks like something just draws you back. For the Lord says, I have created a moment, a season. In these days to show my power and my grace. I pray you don't miss out on what is about to happen in your life. Because it will not have the finger of man in it. You will be a spectator in what God is doing around you. As your amen will thunder whoever. This word is for. As your amen will thunder receive strength to go through this journey. People of God, we'll read the book of Ezekiel chapter 37. And we'll read from verse 1 all the way to verse 10. Like a mass choir at the count of three. Let's read together. One, two, three. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley. And lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. To say the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live and i will lay sinews upon you and will bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and ye shall live and ye shall know that i am the lord so i prophesied as i was commanded and as i prophesied there was a noise and behold a shaking and the bones came together bone to his bone and when i beheld lo the sinews and the flesh came up upon them and the skin covered them above but there was no breath in them then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy son of man, and say to the wind, thus saith the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon this lane, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood up on their feet an exceeding great army our father we ask in the next few minutes that you make your word and your will known unto us father we ask let there be none of any man but all of you have your way emmanuel let a lover of the lord thunder a louder amen on the way to your seat, help me look at your neighbor again some neighbors will look at you and they might be just a little scared and tell them say i am a spirit say it again like you really mean it say i am a spirit i just want us to be in touch with our real makeup help me look at your neighbor again and tell your neighbor say i am a spirit while you take your seat in the presence of the lord look at your neighbor and ask your neighbor do you fly at night tell your neighbor spirits fly at night tell your neighbor can you appear and disappear tell your neighbor spirits appear and disappear look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor i am all of that tell your neighbor whether in the day or night tell your neighbor i am a flyer tell your neighbor say neighbor they that wait upon the lord shall renew their strength tell your neighbor they shall mount up with wings as eagles tell your neighbor say neighbor if i mount up with wings as eagles tell your neighbor what am i doing tell your neighbor i am flying tell your neighbor i am a flyer in the day or in the night let me hear you shall fire take your seat they think they are the only ones that fly at night they said they are witches they fly at night let them try it around your house people of god as they are flying to come you fly and meet them there if you understand they shall fire take your seat in the presence of the lord 
it becomes important for you to find a template of the cycle what i will call the cycle of the supernatural a template of the cycle of the supernatural especially as exemplified by the encounter ezekiel had in the vision he had in ezekiel chapter 37 and ezekiel said the hand of the lord was upon me and he carried me in the spirit of the lord and set me in the valley of the dry bones and then ezekiel said he asked me son of man can these bones live and i said to him oh lord god thou knowest now the rest of the scripture is there and then ezekiel said i prophesied as he commanded me and as i prophesied the bones came together and of course the next thing that i find is an exceeding great army and if you don't forget that what an army does is to go and discomfit defeat defend offend as the case may be so join me as i paint what i might call the cycle of the supernatural understand there can never be any supernatural manifestation without impartation ezekiel said it began when the hand of the lord was upon me somebody touch your neighbor say impartation do not forget that even the present church began with impartation on the day of the pentecost the bible says the spirit of god came like a mighty rushing wind impartation so sir, let me tell you we have a lot of believers that want to see the supernatural but they don't have patience enough to sit let the holy spirit sit on them we have a lot of believers who are god like that Basha. you want they even don't have the patience to stay through a meeting of god they don't have the patience to stay through a one moment they don't have the patience to stay through one hour on nsppd without distraction they don't have the patience to even stay on their private prayer altar even if it is for 15 minutes they don't have the consistency and the lord says no sir it begins with impartation Some Somebody lay your hands on your life and say oh lord and say every spirit of lack of consistency say break off from my life if you believe it thunder a louder amen and ezekiel said he did not stop there he did not stop there the hand of the lord came upon me let, let me borrow you come come let me borrow you and ezekiel said this is where he began from first of all the hand of the lord why are you taller than me anybody that's taller than me is too tall go back let me find a short man I'm managing I'm managing because the other guy I was just going to be looking at him like that and that's not fair for my anointing so and I needed to realize that Ezekiel said and the hand of the Lord first of all was upon me he put something in me and the place of impartation the next thing I saw is that he carried me he carried me Shabbat Adasa. let me not let me not go see Jesus Ayarabasada. oh my god oh my god I don't want to go there I just want to paint this cycle first but please allow me to say this because he's doing me i want you to know that ezekiel was never carried until the lord put his hand on him so there was something the lord put in ezekiel i don't know whether you're getting what i'm saying there's an impartation there's something that went from the lord into ezekiel so people of god when the lord decided to carry ezekiel i want you to know it wasn't ezekiel he was carrying he was carrying what he put in Ezekiel. There are some of us who are asking God, carry me. And the Lord is saying, what will be my own return on investment if I carry you? So I, I, I don't want to carry your flesh. I want to carry what I have put inside. You know why I know some of you cannot die? God has made too much invested to allow the devil waste you. You know why I know, no matter what the challenge you're facing through, your life can never end anyhow. Kabarasada, forget what you are going through. Shabada, you see, Lord, you cannot put all these things inside of me and you will make my life a mockery. So when the Lord carried Ezekiel, it wasn't Ezekiel. Marabashaha. He was carrying every deposit he made every gift in ezekiel that was what the lord was carrying every ability in ezekiel that was what the lord is carrying every impact ezekiel was going to make that was what the lord was carrying so people of god i want you to understand when the lord carries you the same why 
when the Lord begins to show you favors that others are not getting discern why he's not carrying you because you prayed well he's carrying you because there's things he has put in the womb of your spirit that your generation is waiting for that's not where I'm going to put that in one corner of your mind so the Lord put his hand on his ear the next thing remember i'm talking about the cycle of the supernatural the next thing that he does was to carry ezekiel people of god the first thing i said is impartation the second thing i am saying is direction people of god there are people who will never function in the supernatural until they understand that as many as are led by the spirit of god they are the sons of god Arandi Bosotoya every manifestation of the supernatural is according to the circumference of divine direction in your life never forget that every maniboro sandeba shadapala lord kidabasa listen let me tell you the situation of some of us there is so much god has put in the inside of you but unfortunately you didn't let him direct you so we have too many loaded people going right when the lord wants to carry them left so we have too many people full of favor but the enemy directs them where their favor will not be seen not every man is meant for you there are people you have already been favored to connect with but don't let the devil direct you to people who will never see anything good in you that is when you begin to second guess am i really favored you are favored but it's just that you are in the wrong direction lift up your right hand shout my father my father say every wrong direction in my destiny let it be reversed let it be reversed let it be reversed if you believe it under a louder amen take your seat don't forget impartation don't forget direction and god moves ezekiel and begins to ask ezekiel can these bones live again and ezekiel said i don't know you know whatever you say is fine and the lord said to ezekiel you don't get it let me tell you another thing the supernatural intent and he says prophesy unto these bones and he said ah i should prophesy he said yes prophesy to these bones so sir another cycle of the supernatural is responsibility never believe never believe that the lord is making and overtaking you with the supernatural so that you can use it and pose let me tell you god made you their sibling and dropped you there because he wants to load you with the supernatural you are not just their sibling you are a savior you are not just their mother you are a defense it's a responsibility you are not just her husband keep at her you are the husband you are not just a wife the supernatural that does not give you responsibility is nothing like a is nothing but a walk in the park so every time the Bible says he gave them power to become. He gave them power to do. Every time you come in contact with the supernatural, he must leave you with a responsibility. He must leave you with an assignment. He says, again, listen, as I put my hand on you now, I know that you will like it, you give testimony. But when you are done, I'm taking you to the valley of the dry bones. Because this thing I've put on you, I don't put it on everybody. So as I've put my hand on you, it is a responsibility i don't choose everybody as i've chosen you right now is a responsibility i chose you manisuba because you've got an assignment that others kabaradia i showed you the favor i didn't show others it is for an assignment i opened the door that i didn't open for others it is for an assignment i gave you a burden i didn't give others it is for an assignment and then don't forget the cycle of the supernatural what is the first thing i said what is the second thing i said then what is the third thing i said responsibility and then he takes ezekiel and say prophesy and ezekiel began to prophesy boom 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 ezekiel said i'm hearing a noise 
I'm hearing a shaking. Another people of God. Let me tell you another cycle of the supernatural. His result. His result. Proof. The Bible say by many infallible proofs. By many infallible proofs. Don't tell me that thing. Supernatural, supernatural. It does not end with tongues. No matter how sophisticated it is. No matter how sophisticated. Oh God, I began to speak with deep tongues. So when you finish speaking, let us see the evidence. Am I communicating? There must be results. People of God, when there are no results, people think you are a waste of time. But I pray for you. All those that think that your life do not have results, at the sound of your amen, in less than 24 hours, let there be results that will silence them. Somebody, while you are here, while you are here, let there be a strange result over your life. Let your amen turn the louder. Receive results in your health. Receive results in your career. Receive results in your business. Let your amen turn the louder. Take your seat. And people of God, a cycle, part of it is result. This is how God took Ezekiel and said, Ezekiel, oh, yeah, begin to prophesy. Ezekiel prophesied and he says the bones are coming together the bones woo, 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 and all of that and the breath everything entering in and God said to Ezekiel now that you have gotten it the next thing that you're going to do as soon as Ezekiel prophesied the bones came back alive and they stood up a great army don't forget by Ezekiel's prophecy breath entered into the army and the Bible says that they became living souls and became an exceeding great army the word army already suggests that they are going to do something they are going to fight they are so sir let me let me just put it in one piece and tie it up together very simple something moved from ezekiel into them and then they became a great army so what are you talking about the cycle of the supernatural never gets complete until there's a transfer the supernatural is not super natural until it replicates itself the natural is an end in itself the supernatural creates something new if it is the natural if it is nature it dies if it is the supernatural it recreates never forget that and that is the cycle of the supernatural it becomes interesting for you to understand that the bible says ezekiel said and the hand of the lord was upon me and then he carried me out in the spirit of god and set me in the midst of the valley of dry bones. somebody let me say it again let me see whether you can catch what i have just said let me read it exactly the way it is in the bible the hand of the lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones there are two things i emphasized one is out the other is what in that's the way the supernatural works the supernatural must move you out and put you in it is not the supernatural if it doesn't pull you out of something. It is not the supernatural if it doesn't launch you into some. There are no middle roads. It pulls you out of sin and puts you in righteousness. It pulls you out of shame and puts you in glory. It puts you out out of the natural and puts you in the place of favor Kabarasha, he pulls you out of man-made circumstances and puts you in a divine ordained situation if i spoke about you can you thunder yes as your amen will thunder and your two hands are lifted i pray let the supernatural pull you out of every negativity and may you enter into the will of the Lord. The louder your amen, the quicker your answer. Let your amen turn the louder. Let your amen rise higher. Take your seat for one second. And people of God, it becomes important 
So realize that Ezekiel said that as the hand of the Lord was upon me, it took me out of something. And immediately, it put me in something. And this is the way my life began to change. Out and in. Somebody shout out. Shout in. Say the supernatural is at work. Shout it again like you mean it. Say out. Can you shout in? Shout the supernatural is at work. Turn the read again. Say out. Can you turn that in? Say the supernatural is at work. You know, on the day of Pentecost, how did a timid guy called Peter move out of timidity into the place of boldness? That's the supernatural at work. Now, when you look at those disciples when they went to catch fish and they toiled all night, how could people with all their labor was able to catch nothing? But when the supernatural showed up, he pulled them out of nothing into the place of abundance. That is the way the supernatural works. It's always pulling you out and pulling you into something. So, sir, ask yourself, ever since I encountered the Lord, what have I come out of and what have I gotten into? Very simple. What has he pulled me out of? What has he taken me into? Kayadisa. People of God, it, God go do and people go see him. People will testify and all of, people will see him. Every The Bible says when people saw the man at the beautiful, at the gate called beautiful, they were looking at him and saying, is this not the guy that sat at the place uh, at the uh, gate of the temple and begged? People of God, because they were very confused because this guy has just been pulled out of something and this guy has been pulled into something. People of God, that's this allow the supernatural to work on you. People of God, we've been praying, we've been praying, we've been praying for you, and we've been releasing prophecy over your life. Let the supernatural pull you out of too much drinking and pull you into the place of sobriety. Let the supernatural pull you out of nightclub and pull you into the place of devotion to God. Can I get an amen? amen. The supernatural will pull you out of hookup into the place of love and devotion to God. Can your amen thunder louder? The supernatural must pull you out of something and it must pull you into something. The supernatural must pull you out of spiritual laziness and pull you into the place of fervency and passion for the Lord the supernatural will pull you out of dead works and pull you into the place where your spirit man is steered after God and Ezekiel said that was where I was the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones yes and caused me to pass by them round about i need you to get this get this get this oh get this caused me to pass by them round about and behold there were very many in the open valley and lo they were very dry then the lord asked the question some of you who think that god likes to ask questions without anybody giving him an answer any question asked by the lord to you there is a potential that your spirit has the capacity for the answer anything the lord allows to happen around you there's a potential he knows that sometime before now he has deposited the answer in your spirit i wish i can unbundle this most of the things you are afraid of you have already been wired to solve them before they came to you don't forget now let me tell you again the hand of the lord was upon me right there was an impartation and it entered into Ezekiel and the Lord carried him in the spirit of the Lord and then get to the valley of dry bones and the Lord said to Ezekiel now this guy has gone on a journey with me a journey of impartation a journey of the distant the people of God I'm telling you the way you are the way we all are some of us are that is the way what just happened right now and the Lord said to Ezekiel ah, this guy from what I've done you so far Easy, check it out. Look at the way I put my hand on you. Look at the way I just helped you. Easy, let me ask you. Can these bones live again? Hey! Because I don't know. 
can't even remember the last thing you did. What did you do? Is the hand you put on me or what? He said, he said, thou knowest. I don't know. How would you receive the kind of what you receive here? And then a situation comes upon you. And that situation is like a question. And the Lord is asking, can I turn this thing around? And then he said, Lord, I don't know why me. Why me? And God said, I know why you. I know who are you. It was because before he came, I already put something in your spirit so that you can use what I have given you. Every deposit of God inside of you is not for decoration. So sir, the question that Ezekiel was asked was as a result of the hand that was already placed on him. In verse 1, a hand had already placed, been placed on Ezekiel. And people of God, by verse 3, the Lord was asking Ezekiel, can these bones live? And Ezekiel said, I don't know. This is the way we are. You, you finish an encounter and God presents a situation to you and asks you, Hassan, Emeka, can we conquer this? Can I turn around this? He said, Lord, I, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm excited whenever I watch an SPPD. I see a new generation that the Lord will be asking, can these bones live? And they say, Lord, even right now he can live. Oh. Even right now he can live. But nothing will, people of God, this is a generation that is no longer waiting for the pastor. They are not waiting. They are saying, even right now, even right now, even right now. How many of you watch NSPPD today? Ordinary people. He said, if he does not rise, if he does not get his memory back in three days, know that my name is not Chibuzo. <laughs> Chibuzo, importer and exporter, has now turned to say, he know that my name is not. What, what, what? Who do you think you are, Chibuzo? People of God, it was not even up to two days. It was not even up to two days. The man's memory and the man told us Jesus told us that's the way he's been waking up people that that the, the one that happened from germany to poland so all Jesus is looking for is where where are dead people let me go and wake them up <laughs> son of man son of man can the situation of your family change tonight son of man can a helper enter your life tonight? Son of man, can a healing occur tonight? Son of man, can the blind see tonight? Son of man, can the lame walk tonight? Son of man, can you move from zero to hero? If you believe it, shout yes! Take your seat for one second. So people of God, when a destiny question arises, don't forget the hand he put on you. Try. I don't know who I spoke to. When a destiny question arises, don't forget the hand of the Lord upon you. Never forget. Nebara, you are not alone. Kabashara. Questions will come to prove that classroom sessions you had with divinity it is not an abandonment it is not the wickedness of god being expressed it is just like every student that has gone through class the lord will come back and say let's do assessments let me ask you some questions and that is what you called negative situation but ezekiel now answered he said down down no west now look at what God replied Ezekiel. He said, and he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones. Ezekiel, Ezekiel, prophesy. Open your mouth, prophesy. God did not say to Ezekiel, Ezekiel, don't worry. I will raise them. He said, that thing I have put in you, you will use it. You must use it. You must walk with it. You know, some of you, God, do it in spite of me. God said, no, huh? you, you fix your prayer life. Your prayer life must start working. He said, God, you did it for that word. You didn't even do anything. Some people on this altar, they don't they even say they don't believe. 
They came and say they don't even believe. Me that have believed, me that have believed. God say, as you have finished believing now, you need to build your prayer life. Those ones are babies. We carry them. But people of God, the more you grow, the more I desire that you be a man. I don't hate you, but I need you to grow. Am I communicating? And it says, prophesy and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. Notice how will this breath enter? There's a colon after that. The Bible says, Yes, show me verse 5, verse 6. Yes, and I will lay sinews upon you, and I will bring up flesh upon you, and I will cover you with skin and put breath in you, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord. Uh -huh. The next verse. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together. Now, people of God, notice before the breath entered the lord said you know bones what i'm going to do is that i'm going to cover you i'm going to walk on you before the breath will enter i don't want to give breath to bones that will appear as skeletons you know the truth is that there's an area you are going to appear in but god is taking his time to cover you with flesh so that you don't rise by a miraculous work of God yet rejected by a generation you have been raised for I'm not sure that you got what I just said sir when he reignites you with a breath let him walk on you it is not enough to say I am alive I am okay I can you need to look and ask God where do you need to cover me so that I will not be rejected for the same reason I am living I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying and this was exactly what happened to Ezekiel and the Lord said I'm going to put flesh on you I'm going to cover you with sinews I'm going to and then when I'm done with that that's when the breath will enter and then you will leave so that because you can you can still live now bread can enter into the bones and you can come out and when you come out and then you are going to go going around all these bones when they come out and say we are an army we are an army people of god even their relations will not agree to allow them come back to the house people will fight them those that call themselves and imagine your husband coming back and then say as he's coming back like this you know and with skeleton your children coming back as skeleton even you you will leave the house for them am i communicating but they needed to be put together so that the generation they have been wired for will not reject them you see here if this was a minister's conference i would take my time but people of god unfortunately there are people who have been stirred but not branded enough for the generation they have been wired for so the same generation they've been raised will look at them and reject them because you are alive but you are not okay you are alive but you are not well covered am i communicating i pray for everyone here may the lord cover you for your generation May the Lord brand you well for your generation. The louder your amen, the quicker your answer. Take your seat in the presence of God. And people of God, the Bible says, So I prophesied as I was commanded. I like the fact that Ezekiel kept repeating, I prophesied as I was commanded. I prophesied as I was commanded. I prophesied as I was commanded. People of God, don't let me delve into this because it's not where I'm going to. I want you to know that it is easy to prophesy as you want. But it's more blessed to prophesy as you have been commanded. People of God, it's easy to prophesy according to what the environment wants. 
Remember when I'm talking about prophecy, I'm talking about foretelling and foretelling the word. I'm talking about saying what God has said. People of God, it's easy to speak the word of God, but energized by your situations. It's easy to speak the word of God, but yet engineered by the atmosphere. Let me give you an example. So the devil comes to meet Jesus. And then he says to Jesus, um, if you say you are the son of God, convert these stones to be bread. And Jesus replies, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. There was this sharp guy. And then he goes to the second one. The devil taketh him up into the holy city and set him on the pinnacle of the temple <laughs> and saith unto him, if thou be the son of God, cast thyself down. Now, this is it. For it is written, Shebi, we are now prophesying. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. Uh, now, later, it is written, he shall give his angels charge over concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, least at any time thou dash thy foot against this. Is this the word of God? Is this the word of God? Some of you are looking and saying no. Is the word of God? Okay, let me ask you, where is this scripture? Ah, clap for yourself i'm so excited i didn't know i didn't know you knew it that much yes it's the word of god the devil spoke the word of god but that was not as was commanded that was not what was needed at that time lord help me speak the word as is commanded because that's the word that will work not the word as fueled by the flesh So, sir, Ezekiel kept saying, I prophesied as I was commanded. But notice carefully, Ezekiel said what he was told to say. But he began to hear what he was not expecting. Ezekiel said, as soon as I prophesied as I was commanded, I was hearing a noise. I was hearing a noise. And behold, a shaking. Ezekiel said, I said, I did the right thing, but the result I was hearing didn't look right. What is a noise? An unorganized sound. I said what he asked me to say, but I began to hear things that were not organized. But he didn't know the Lord was working. There are seasons when you will prophesy rightly, but you might hear a noise. Don't be afraid of the noise. It is all part of it. The Lord is working am i communicating people of god don't be intimidated by the noise it's all the work of god the bones were coming together so when the bones were trying to choke them you know quack, 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 people of god the bones were finding themselves and they were aligning they were aligning people of god Barasadaba. ezekiel said there was a noise Karando Subadaha. but people of god and the bones came together bone to his bone people of god i pray for you wherever you have heard and seen something organized as your amen will thunder let it work out the miraculous in your life the louder your amen the quicker your answer take your seat as i get ready to tidy up show me the next verse the bible says and when i beheld lo the sinews and the flesh came upon them and the skin covered them above but there was no breath in them uh -huh. then he said unto me prophesy unto the wind prophesy son of man and said to the wind thus saith the lord god come from the four winds O breath and breathe upon this lane that they may live ezekiel said something was missing after I've done all of these things, there was something about the atmosphere that needs to change. People of God, Asabara, this guy is complete. But God said to Ezekiel, I need you to understand. This is the time to speak to the four winds. So that, please do not ever imagine. Imagine in your mind that the four winds already meant ah, let the spirit of God. If you understand the scripture and the four winds, they were not. The scripture can never mean what it was never intended to mean. The four winds had not been described at any. In fact, if you go to Revelation chapter 7, verse 1, the Bible even said that the, that the four winds were withheld from blowing and all that because they represented most of the time judgment. 
but God said to Ezekiel speak to the wind this time around prophesy to the wind in other words this wind ordinarily that should be an atmosphere that will make this guy not to thrive let the wind by reason of your prophecy let them now bring the breath that this guy because if you leave this wind to blow on their own accord they will affect what i am doing did i confuse you so sir the four winds of the air you know i've heard people say oh it meant the holy spirit and all of that but people of god if you check even daniel if you go to the book of daniel as he began to speak about the four winds it was never indicative of the holy spirit but god said i want to use this wind to bring life to this guy whether they are judgment winds or whatever they are you need to change the atmosphere so that it will favor what i am doing people of god you know the truth is that god is doing an amazing work in you but the atmosphere wants to suffocate it there are too many things god is doing in the inside of you but the atmosphere is not letting it thrive am i communicating people of god god puts favor upon your life but the atmosphere becomes a demonic atmosphere so people of god most of the time you are not the problem but the atmosphere look at what a supernatural person does he does not just pride in the supernatural at work in him but he uses what is at work in him to change what is in the environment so sir he comes to the office he uses the supernatural to change the office Kaba, he wakes up in the middle of the night to pray he raises his hand he prophesies over the city that he lives in and begins to tell the city you must align in my favor he prays over everyone that will see him he prays over everyone he will see and begins to tell them you will become platforms for my rising it is not enough to carry the supernatural use the supernatural to change your atmosphere did i make sense rise on your feet wherever you are would you lift up your two hands wherever you are and by the word of the lord i decree over your life today let every atmosphere of your destiny change right now the louder your amen the quicker your answer let every atmosphere of your destiny change right now let it change right now let it change right now let your atmosphere align for your blessing align for your increase align for the expression of the power of god in your life right now let your amen turn the louder i announce it as done i announce it as done i announce it as done let your amen turn the louder while your two hands are lifted i decree the impartation of god upon your life will not be wasted for every impartation on your life receive a direction for every direction step into your assignment for every assignment carry your result for every result you've given let it be multiplied let the lord replicate the supernatural around you let your amen turn the louder I announce it is done. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Celebrate the Lord by putting your hands together for the Lord. When you put together your offerings, your tithes, and your partnership, and raise it before the Lord. In streams of joy, we rise and stand to give to God. Because we understand that we are offering to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Who was tonight meant for? Look at your neighbor one more time while you're putting your offerings, your tithes, and your partnership together. And tell your neighbor, say, I'm a spirit. Tell your neighbor, the hand of the Lord is upon me. Tell your neighbor, I am not ordinary. So would you rise on your feet with your offerings, your tithes, and your partnership, and leave them before the Lord. Kabara si dabaha. Sikoto nde bashadi balaha. Karadi basati dabaha. And would you make it a wave offering before the Lord? If you're sitting down, it is not part of the protocol of our house. So would you rise with your offering, your tithes and your partnership and make it a wave offering? Let the blessings of those who have honored the Lord with their offerings, their tithes, and their partnership be your portion. Nothing missing and nothing broken. In Jesus' name we have prayed amen and amen once you drop your offering you might as well go ahead and take your seat in the presence of the lord for what our god cannot do 
So people of God, we finally come to the last of it all on NSPPD. The battle is over. We started this on Monday. Who has been having a great time this week on the altar of fire? The battle is over and it is our covenant day of divine remembrance. Somebody turn to thunder say it is settled. And people of God, tomorrow we're going to be declaring affliction will not arise a second time. Can I get a loud amen? amen? And we are going to be putting an end to whatever that has happened in your life that you do not like. And people of God, don't forget to come with your notes of new beginnings and close chapters, what we began on Monday with. And we are also going to be opening doors, like the Lord said, he's going to be opening doors of congratulations and celebration. People of God, the Spirit of God said to us that you should write a beautiful story of your testimony write a beautiful story of your testimony so i love to write things because god himself is a writer write a beautiful story of your testimony and then come along just how beautiful is going to be how beautiful is going to be now even god himself say write the vision and make it plain that he that read it may run with it and tomorrow we will also be continuing with stopping the stoppers come with a symbol of what you do for a living we will be releasing the blessing and grace of god over the works of your hands we will also be re releasing prophetic utterances over families we'll also be speaking to the gates of nations as men tomorrow looks too loaded and it's going to be a service of thrones and crowns it's also going to be our impartation friday there's also going to be a strong healing and deliverance um um, it's going to be a strong healing and deliverance service and come ready with your seven communions and people of God on Wednesday we came under the covenant covenant of mercy how many of you really had a great time and today we came under the covenant of divine help people of God some 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 things are shifting on NSPPD that are not normal I want you to know that Sunday is also one day that the Lord is going to make a name for himself as well. And people of God, the theme of our service on Sunday is I take my place. The emergence of kingdom giants. It's an anointing service. Somebody look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, say, I take my place. Say it again like you really mean it. Say, I take my place and people of god is the emergence of kingdom giants and please most importantly why coming on sunday right where you want to be by the middle of this year where you want to be by the middle of this year and people of god please remember we're on four services first service is 7 a.m second service is 8 30 a.m third service is 10 15 a.m and the fourth service is 11 45 a.m we encourage you to please pick up testimony forms from the inquiry there's feel and submit before next sunday service so you'll be scheduled to testify in church on sunday have you been blessed by god today have you been blessed by God today? Would you rise on your feet wherever you are and make, it a, make your hands a wave offering before the Lord? And I decree before you get home, let the supernatural manifestation of grace be waiting for you. Somebody hear me as I hear the Lord. You will sleep tonight with a major good news. And I decree what you have waited for has become your evidence. And I decree fresh impartation on your life, fresh direction upon your life. You will be alive to your responsibility. You will carry results. And I decree by the word of the Lord, take over in your generation. And may there be a transfer of what the Lord has put in inside of you. Let your amen thunder. With your two hands lifted, declare, say, I am dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. I need you to thunder, say, I am abiding under the shadow of the almighty say i am saying of the lord he is my refuge and my fortress my god in him will i trust don't joke with this move up to 14 people and scream in their ear i am a spirit <laughs>